Are we live? Hold on, I want to make sure I didn't screw this up. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay, I'm just Okay, we're going to do number two, get tannin. Hold on a second. Wait a second. Why is it not? episode three okay well I guess we're gonna do this out of order then I don't know why it wasn't letting me do episode two but at least this is a different part we haven't seen so if you guys know something I don't know Citizen Brown, that's Doc all right, but what the heck's going on here? Well, I guess, I guess, is this the next part? This is the dumbest design ever. Uh, hello? She can't hear me. She can't hear me. It kind of creeps me out. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. It kind of creeps me out. It kind of creeps me out. I gotta get out of this death trap. It's jammed. What the hell? Hey, 
Could you give me a... Jennifer? Here we go, boys. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Can you help me down? Uh, Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. No, we're And? Too... You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. They, they don't need to go back to the future. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, Macaulay. What do you give me for it? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. <laughs> oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Never mind, I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. Jennifer, please, this is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> Come on, not this again. All right, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Hold on. Oh, that's what it, that's what he wants. Like I want to remind anyone that the new me couldn't get a date to prom. Like, I want to remind anyone that the new me couldn't get a date to prom. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! 
Thanks. Oh, Hell great. Yeah. Now what? Oops. Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Back to the fooch. Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... Well, that's not good. Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? Uh, must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Uh, let's do this, boys. Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, ha, ha hi. Uh, can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the north gate. Oh, north gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's got to be another way. Hi, uh, uh, uh listen, I'm not a visitor. C can you let me in? Why don't you just use your clicker? Clicker? Uh, yeah, my, mine's broken. Broken clicker? Okay, just head around to the north gate to exchange it for a working one. North gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another way. How the hell do you get through these? The futuristic battery only works on the time machine. Next part. The hover wheel is the only other part that seems to be. Oh. By the way, also, guy, maybe you can do some tinkering. That's what I gotta do. What are you doing, Josh? So, well, we got the tire iron, so. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! 
Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. Citizen? Good morning to you too, citizen. A pair of fupa in the great war of 1981. A pair of fupa. <laughs> Get it? It's not a pair of fupa. That's what it's What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. My, uh, Mr. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, wh what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I could find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Yeah. Heavy. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble peanuts? Bubblegum is illegal? Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great. I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Citizen, are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. 
Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. You are standing in front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse was fried. built in 1885, <laughs> just 20 years after Hill Valley's incorporation into the state of California. Though the courthouse holds the seat of the local government, it also has been used as a shelter during the recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of displaced San Franciscans planting roots after that dreadful disaster. In 1976, the downtown renovation project saw the first major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the new flanking wings, and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely, and you can still see some of the original courthouse's details preserved in the new international-inspired facade. Hill Valley Courthouse, how may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or, uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? Doc? I need to talk to you. Uh -oh. Ministry of Tourism. I can't see why people would want a vacation here. Let's see, what are, what's the goal of what we're trying to do right now? We gotta look at all that stuff in another episode. Was that Citizen Brown in the car? Why was Beth with him? You've got questions, and somebody has answers. Maybe Biff can tell you more about Citizen Brown. Maybe their friends talk to Biff. He might have some. Questions. Biff? Hey, well, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! <laughs> Doc! Yeah, that should be his new nickname. But, but yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. Well, you got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, or uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... butthead. You, a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Into too much trouble. What with the booze, the party, and the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. You pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? 
Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen plus or bust. What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley's Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? Yeah, I guess, but why would you want to act like that? So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. Nice clothes. You lose a bed or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone is wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. On, on second thought, blah. used to be a real bruiser. But that's all behind me now. Ah. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. <gasps> oh. Oh. Don't torment me. Ah. I can get used to this. No, <laughs> please, Martin. <laughs> don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. Uh. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that, but yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Uh, sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch him sooner or later. Does that not work? Yeah, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? It's voluntary, right? Well, sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it will be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. Now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. Huh. How long are we going to have to talk? What do you got to do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. Uh, it sounds boring already. But then, you get an appointment with Citizen Brown. Get about two years. Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. I mean, the only time he deviates from his schedule is when some looney tune is running around racking up demerits. Yeah, fortunately, that almost never happens. 
you said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time. But I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. I can get used to this. No, please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right. If it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. So there's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep, Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. Ha. I remember that. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet! The Browns always say that behaviors that excite your private should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Uh, sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. So there's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep, Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. This life crap all the time. Hey, how do I get out of? Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. There we go. What's Jen up to now? Soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Ugh. Good thing I'm not hungry. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, Bay, and let me catch some Z's. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. They've bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Jennifer! Jen!
You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Oh, uh, yeah. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not and say we did. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fig. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. I would lighten up. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Did you get a load of Biff tanned back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard... No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Spit out of downy. Wreck havoc on the old hourglass figure. What? Okay. Jennifer wants to get throat. Yeah. 
and I'd make money through this Michael J. Fox impersonation. Hold on a second, what's going on? You need to make a cash move if you want. What? Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. You're live on the air. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy yeah, talk. Yeah, I'm going to Back to the no, Future. No, really. This crazy police state yeah, wasn't I, I his idea. Long, It'll I'm all get undone right once second. I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah. Okay, bye. They've bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Why do I get two viewers and Max and I actually play games? I need to reevaluate my channel. Mama K can't leave him alone for more than two hours. Drama KKK, yeah. That leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. That leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. It's just another brick in the wall. Not interested. Hold on. You're learning more and more about Hill Valley from walking around and talking. Keep it up. You won't find anyone else in the alley right now. Look around the town square for any for another familiar face. Talking to Lorraine. Okay. Locked. The, the, I, this is why I prefer. I mean, no, don't get me wrong, this is an amazing story and all that, but as far as interaction, you know, I'm sitting here trying to listen to what's going on. I, Look out, that's son! Why I talk to, whoa. What the heck? Mom? Uh-oh, here we go. But yeah, see, like, there's so many things going on in and out of stuff. Oh, see, and it won't even let me. It won't even let me move certain ways. I'm like forced to do whatever it is trying to get me to do here. Martin. Oh, hey, hey, mom. So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping. <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Correct, Darren, it's giving you Could hints. you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? <laughs> but Citizen Brown always says... A scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. 
Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. Yeah. a peeping Tom. Ah! Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Huh. Good morning, Mr. Brown. Please address. Anybody ever notice that, that Marty's dad was always a peeping hey, Tom? what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... Rock and roll is my density. Um, uh, destiny. Destiny? What would you know about destiny? Now quit fooling around and get back to your studies. A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further up. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> you're only gonna drive her further up. Wait a second. So now, uh, why did Lorraine let you take the car again? You've got a simple errand to complete. Talk to George, I give you Lorraine's timesheet. Sufficiently polished shoes. Good day, citizen. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Dad's a snoop? Is this your job, or do you, like, do it for kicks? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at Soup Mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's... Problems. If she slips up again, say. it could mean demerits for the yes, whole family. Nice there to... she okay. is, polishing the statue in the park. Well, Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Okay. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Because well, I'm trying to get the game to go fast. Okay, we got three options. Mom's a boozer. I'm not going to rat on mom. And you're being overbearing. Which option should I choose? You wouldn't F well in silence, don't F us in silence. Okay, what, what, which one should I pick, guys? It says three, you're being overbearing. Wait, hold on, QA. Uh, I'm gonna go with Retro Papa Fan. Yeah, you are way off here. Mom isn't a shh. I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially? I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere. Probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we <laughs> need to talk. Alright, imitating life. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. 
After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course, but in private, well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Okay, hold on. Um, should I take the tape to Citizen Brown? What do you guys think? I think that sounds like the correct answer for this one. Taking the tape to Citizen Brown. Okay, yeah. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Uh-oh, now what? Wow, a live stream about a game is nice, very cool. Um, so, now what? He... Ask about mom, ask about you, ask about me, about someone we both know. I'm kind of stumped at this one. Do I ask about someone we both know, or? What do you guys think? It's about someone we both know. Yes? Okay. Oh, I don't know who to ask. I don't know who to ask on this one. Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm yeah, in the audience yeah, yeah. for every one of his public I addresses. She was from the last one on episode. one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scoff law should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Hmm. Something on your mind? Okay. 
Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Something she might open up if you if she had a little privacy. George is spying on the rain with the camera by the statue. If only you could reach the camera to block it. You can with a little effort uh, reach parts of the statue. Swing the mobile around until what? You can with a little effort reach the parts of it. Another day in Hill Valley. Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. Take the tape. Morning, How do I get the tape? Please address me as Mrs. Citizen Brown. I'm sorry, Mrs. Citizen Brown. It's just a thing. I, I work How do I get the tape? How do I how do I get the tape? Dad? Yo, Dad! Huh? Oh! Hello, son. What's on your mind? Okay, Dad, we need to talk. Uh what? Hill Valley has a lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. Public well, kissing is illegal, right? Ah, oh. oh, the old PDA law. Indeed okay. it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising know. regularity. Well, oh, I could okay. show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? Wait, where's that at? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. Hmm. Something on your mind? Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, I don't think son. I Supervising. Can get the tape yet, guys. I'll leave you to it. Right. Hey, Demerit. Effective against moths, mosquitoes, and tannins. So it says you can, with a little effort, reach parts of the statue, swing the mobile around until you're blocking the camera. Okay. What's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. I need to distract him somehow. Well, no, because I'm supposed to be going back to my mother. Hold on, let me see if there's something I can distract them with. Nah, it was hard enough getting it from him in the first place. Another day in Hill Valley. A perfect place to live. That's no way to treat such a fine guitar. Like, I want to remind anyone that the new me couldn't get a date to prom. I don't think they'd be interested in a picture of my dad. If I only had a push pin. Nah. That's no way to treat such a fine guitar. If mom has a hidden stash of booze like dad says, then 
may be my only hope of getting my hands on some contraband. Okay, yeah, 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 I can't distract him. There, there's nothing I can do right there. I'm just gonna have to go back to, uh, to his mother. That's no way to treat such a fine guitar. trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. First Citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley. A man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, for Mom, but please. hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his bootlegging syndicate. After this heroic event, immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering, using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. Commemorating on the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Tannen and the disbanding of his criminal syndicate by the heroic efforts and ingenious mind of our beloved first citizen, Emmett Lathrop Brown, by virtue of his experimental rocket car. Edna must have written that. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're, uh, we're fine. We're all fine now. Thank you. Uh, how are you? Mom? Uh, Mom, are you, uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom. It's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad, Mom, knock it off, you two. Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner! I have a job to do here, you know! Lorraine? No! Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't suffocating me all the time! Was that an admission? An admission of how smothered I am by you? And give that woman her booze. Oh, she has a job. Uh-oh. 
Lorraine is confirmed Laurel, apparently. Mom? So, what's up with Dad? Ugh, indeed. What is up with him? That setup in his garage is pretty intense. That's not the word I'd use. More like creepy. I heard that! What about you, Mom? What about me? What are you doing out here polishing the statue? I know! I was scheduled to clean the clock this month, but then Needle's mom ate some of that bad tofu that's been going around. So there was some reshuffling in the L-Sector duty roster, and uh, here I am. That's funny. Uh, he put I kind of wish I was cleaning the clock, though. So much nicer up there without all the cameras. The cameras? Wave to Big Brother, or Big Husband in this case. I saw you talking to Biff about the Citizen Plus program. Biff says I'd be a perfect candidate for it. I know Biff, and if that's what the Citizen Plus program does to people, then you don't want any part of it. But Biff has been reformed. Look at him. He seems so happy now. So at peace with this town. What I wouldn't give. He's a total veg, Mom. Your father is always telling me that I don't invest enough in the workings of our great Citizen Brown. Maybe it's time for me to turn a new leaf and just go with the flow. Okay, just hold off for a bit, please. I don't want you doing anything rash. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Here's something else. Okay, so now what do we got? Lorraine might be hiding something. She might open up if she has a little privacy. I don't know. With that camera by the statue, only you could reach the camera to block it. all sorts of food today. Who? Both speakers. And that's you can look like you know, I might have backed apart, but... You would think they actually were. No, but if I do... Yeah, where'd you put the scale? Hold on. Every time I do this... I want to help, but this is a choice you gotta make. Oh boy. I'm so glad you take after me. Dad, you're not helping. Oh, but I have a catcher in the act so I can get it on tape. Once Ridiculous, Dad. You're acting like this is some kind of sting operation. Do it twice here, once Where'd more. she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. There. What did you just hide? That was some sort of fruity liqueur. It's a spray bottle of simple orange for the cleaning I'm trying to do! Lorraine, I'm sorry. It's just that you're acting so cagey lately. Ah, uh, what happened? What the heck am I looking at? Yes! Quick, while George can't see, you are lying. Do something. A little bit of time while the camera is blocked to confront the rain. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Is that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's yeah, been so like hard with would your you like brother and sister streamers? leaving. And yeah. then your father yeah, getting obsessed five with his father. Today. And then, oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. Hello? Oh yeah, was that the one where he goes, wake up, bitch, you're my new best friend. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Good job with him. Yeah. Yeah. This timeline sucks. Mom uh, and Dad well, are fighting well, uh, again. I got Mom's you kind of low, but yeah, they it's like it. everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Actually, I had you in my lap. Time to get right some attention. To, oh wait, never mind. You're right next to the microphone. <laughs> That's great. Um. Well. Now you just need to get caught. Oh, wait. So all I have to do now is I got to take the booze. Apparently in this chapter that I'm on of Back to the Future, it is a totally different timeline where Edna, the old lady from the first part, when we went back to uh, 18 or no, 19, 20 or 30 something. Uh, anyway, apparently she got married to Doc Brown somehow and now the entire town uh, has changed into this weird... A uh, town that has nothing but stupid rules. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. So, no, so now Here I have goes to get caught with alcohol, because apparently alcohol is illegal. There better be apple juice okay. in this. Well, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that... that booze? Nowhere. Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him. Severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Damn, a town with stupid rules sounds like censorship. Don't be that town, Aaron. <laughs> so now... If you're looking for the last dog in Hell Valley, you need to do something to lure him out of hiding. There's only one place in town vending any kind of food. You can't get yourself a free sample or something. Well, now I have to find Einstein, I'm assuming. Because I gotta commit some more crimes. Uh, and clearly, uh, Marty's own ex girlfriend won't, uh, won't help him in this endeavor. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soupmo, where soup oh, is just. Was... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more, yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. <laughs> Where are the free samples? Here, I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up. Wuss. I, I can't finish this. 
Not my problem. See ya. Smell you later. Like I said, I have a great the dog could be anywhere. He may have been a case as well, but he might also be kind of guarding the samples. That's the bait. What are you doing guarding the samples? That's the bait. Walk away from the uh, samples if there is a dog nearby. You're cramping his. What? Hey! Hey! There's that mangy! <laughs> Oh, go get him, McFly! Okay, so a lot of this is self-explanatory. He's got to be hiding in here somewhere. Bet you're under here. Not a sign of him. Wait, no, I don't want to go back. No, I want the dog. No, I'm going to fight you 6.2. No. Could he be hiding? Stay put now, boy, wherever you are. Not a sign of him. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Guess where the dog is hiding. He's too clever for that. If only the dog had left tracks, he wouldn't have to guess. Oh, well, Perry tried it on the flag. What? Ah! You would think that maybe I would know. I would know this. It would look better blue. It's blue, so it's gonna look like blues blues. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Boo! It's a letter from our friends. Because my family hates me. Uh those were the days, Josh. Those were the days. Now we're in business. Shit, crap in a box. Chick dig that. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einie. Einstein, is that your name in this timeline too? Huh, guess not. Tiny, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy, now hold still. See, 
I'm not such a bad guy, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. I wish they were all this easy. Brown, brown, brown. Now we got on a dog. Huh? What is it, boy? <laughs> Einstein, wait. No. Yes. No. This will get us the oh, marriage. Rabies, rabies, help! Back! Down! Sit! Play dead! Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of Statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beast. Don't worry, Einie. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble, unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Now what? You can't just... Serenade Jennifer, she's already got the guitar playing. Jennifer needs to see how you compare to Leech. Keep egging her and she'll put you two to the test. Jennifer is the one you want to impress and tell her to get her. Not her card. <sighs> All this just to meet with, 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 with Citizen Brown. What is it now? You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? <laughs> For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl I'll who appreciates a hot lick. Later, Audi. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking Play electric guitar, this. Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the and ukulele has to go. Tetris. Sure. And I'm now a Josh fan. Well, thank you. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? Oh, God. I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home this? without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The Ring of Rock? Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. She wants a finger back to it. Doing literally the exact same thing. Thank you. 
Oh! <laughs> yeah, it worked! I forgot Martin that's... McFly! That was... That was... That was totally awesome! <laughs> what can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. <laughs> mm, uh, you broke my head, Stock. Uh, I think I've got Arnie a new idol. F this, F Come this here. Guitar, beat this Wait, dude until I got a better away. idea. That guy's just got what a... was it you called yeah. me? A square? Just a girl's entitled to make a mistake, big, uh, isn't she? Oh. Mm. <laughs> These two degenerates violating statute number Jennifer Daddy 476 D. Open mouths and tongues. You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. McFly! Hold on. I'm finally gonna get to go see Citizen Brown. This is the end of the, this chapter, I think. The whole goal for this was to go hey, to Hey, Jennifer. See him. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being citizen plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze? Dogs? Necking in public? It's like you're a different Charles guy today. To away, a shoot way the back of the cooler head, guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty, what's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy gotta do to get in trouble around here? I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have oh, a warrant for your detention. Detention? Yeah. You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it, young Mr. McFly? is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, Let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma ah, that's just what we want. It's about time. About time, baby. I always what, knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too to good to be true. Works. No matter what the negative situation was, Marty McFly could always outsmart the situation. Like if he needs, like in this situation, he needs to get to see Doc Brown, so he's purposely being bad because he knows that'll get him right. You know, he knows what he's doing. Manure, I hate manure. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age eighteen, resident of Sector L, father George, mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade. Recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College. Winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portman Award. Zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. 
Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Forget questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. This! What you've turned into, it's all wrong. You're supposed to be a scientist, an inventor. You created the flux capacitor, and, and we went on all these crazy adventures in time, and your hair, you don't look good, Doc. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. Yes! No, wait. Tell me, Martin, is your mother on the sauce again? Forget my mother. She's not the issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Martin. Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. You mean a warped citizen? He's supposed to be a science fiction writer, not a peeping Tom. And you're supposed to invent a time machine. Time machine? I don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because... Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. No! I, I mean, yes! What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time, and somehow your timeline got messed up, and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Sonny Crockett. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. God, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Uh... Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your about your memory. Hold on. There are some stuff in the office that would surely help convince Citizen Brown that you're telling the truth. Some of the links to the past might not be obvious, but they are around around so I spy with my little eye, young Emmett and his father. A fisk tank from the past. A movie ticket and a mug shot. You still got the movie ticket. Indeed I do. A memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see The Virtuous Husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was gonna give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Inspired by Frankenstein? How whimsical. Not to mention historically inaccurate. My dolly wife is all the scientific news I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration at the 31 Expo, all the way up to my cutting-edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do. I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. 
wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Oh, uh, an impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Shot. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the paper? Where's the paper? I got this one. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. The rocket-powered drill? Never worked. Failed a misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. I... Yeah. Uh, bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. I better not. This could be the only printing left in existence. Check this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor, your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. So, photo mugshot of Einstein, movie ticket. A fish tank. Where's the fish tank? It's better if I keep this on me at all times. It's better if I keep this on me at all times. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? And then just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931, it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. So look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931, the day I single-handedly captured Kit Tannen, the scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edmund Strickland, my scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. It's not what I see. What do you see? Yeah. Is it fun? Uh, so far. I'm trying to convince Doc Brown that he's Doc Brown. Oh, because his memory loss? Yeah. I did the fish tank. There's this something like I learned in Sister Brown's favorite photograph. You can figure this out. You were there. It was point something out of interest in the photograph. See what Sister Brown has to say. Wait, who is it in the background? You and Doc really were there. Okay, yeah. It helps if you know the movie really well. Which well, this isn't part. This was this was a separate storyline. I think it is. Oh, they changed, what? They changed it's it me the, and you, game. the other you. Is it the real actor's voice actor? Uh, it well, is Doc me. Is voiced by, and you, uh, uh, Christopher what? Lloyd. How? But they had somebody else do Marty. Sonny? It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this nowadays, other bro. world, what do you say you come bad. from? Am I, All right, so I am got... I happy there? 
Very happy. We've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Hedna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Round to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me yeah. as your yeah, honor. He comes knocking on my door, waking me up. He's like, let's go. I'm like, okay. We've worked for over 50 years, I my wife and I. I every waking moment devoted to ridding yeah. Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Doc wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah! Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Is that the new one? Dead or alive? What is this? What's fighting. this like? It's a fighting game. Like, one-on-one fighting game? There's a, you gotta find something that will help. Mm -hmm. Back to reality. You need to find a weapon. So what are you guys here for tonight? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna leave as soon as I'm done with this. I don't believe a word you say, look around the clock. Uh, a little bit, not much. Here it is, raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? <laughs> who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna! Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Um, not exactly, no. 
Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. I can at least call the cops. Don't you dare. I don't want the authorities to know anything about those tapes. Not yet, anyway. There's gotta be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... You know, your time is valuable. I would hate for you to have to redo all that work. You said you needed the tapes. And what if this mugger comes back? Another bang on the head might do you in. You said you needed the tapes. I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. Dude, that sounds I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't yeah, as happy as he thinks it is. When I was in his office. Yeah, the guy they got to do before it I came like here. The, he, he, you had an interview the, with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to yeah, get, yeah, believe yeah, me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been Sounds breaking like rules? Harboring straight dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm That's your fun. father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's I mean, changed. I that Prove one. it. Read him and weep. Demerits, but... It was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first, I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. Dad. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Think of your family. I am. And I don't want to see my family relocated to Sector X with all the other hopeless cases. It's your civic duty. Doesn't Citizen Brown always tell us to keep our noses clean? And that's what I plan to do. Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. It says to keep this printout for my records.
Hello? Hello? That doesn't look right. The monitor's dead. Oh, wait, uh, never mind. Hello? Let me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course! Surveillance is what I do! Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Try flipping the switches. Hello? It? You're looking for the one that's trained on us. There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff. But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? huh? What is this? I can't understand it. It's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would hey, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhance feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine. Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? 
You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. That's right. You two sort things out. What is this I've got some business to attend to. Whoa, have Laura send me a pic of her. Josh! We just got a $2 donation from Daryl Daryl. I'm, I'm set. The point I'm trying to make is we can live stream the gameplays without needing that extra Fifth. doohickey thing. Of Whoa, whoa, whoa settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? Oh, no, 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 officer. Just a little misunderstanding. Oh, I'm sure wife. we can work it out. Right, Mark? I don't... Sure. I, okay. I don't want to go into Let me know if you need any help, Mr. No. Tanner. But, uh, yeah. Now, let's yeah, see if exactly. we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Let's. I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't concerned with the message. I was concerned the fact that somebody was able to donate. You know that person? Like uh, well, not not personally. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never he did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? Uh, what are you no, talking about? Person. Don't play dumb. Yeah, I saw you on camera. Yeah, but no, I can't no, hurt they... anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing yeah, bad yeah. stuff. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, I got mods in there to, to pay attention to stuff like that. Where were you with? What are mods anyways? Like, What'd you do with my dad's secret videotape? Like when you do a live secret stream, secret videotape. Uh, you can you make know, people the one that shows how people are fed up with all these screwy rules and laws. The, the, the you lost me, Martin. Their, but that tape name. sounds dangerous. So when you it make should make probably be dumped in the recycling bin. Put a wrench next to their name. And then if somebody says something out of line, a, mod a moderator could time them out or delete the comment or whatever. If you didn't beat up my dad, then yeah. where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... Uh, I was... Uh, what? That's strange. I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished feeding some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah, she wanted to run a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Guys, damn it. What? Because I need a fucking... So the last thing you remember before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch? Yeah, yeah that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? Yeah. Biff, your watch. Does X11 mean anything to you? X11? Is that a new band or something? Yeah, I don't go in for that new hippity hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Remember? The friend that was in your inventory. If details slip in mind. X is 27 letter left, but just input that and set the minutes to the right value. Oh, I already know. I think cool! I didn't know you could do that! Biff? Uh, uh. Okay, that's weird. What's wrong with you? Did you attack my dad? <sighs> and now we're getting somewhere. Could you, uh, touch your toes? Ah, uh, <clears throat> uh, I see. Hmm. Hang tight, Biff. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's Biff? Yeah, he's being controlled. You've managed to... 
It doesn't matter. No, he will do. Okay, maybe the direct is the approach is best. Don't overthink what you want him to do. He seriously, that was like some of the best. He like nailed that character, man. The acting in that movie. Listen up, Biff. <laughs> Where's my dad's tape? <laughs> the cycling bin? Do the chicken dance. Yeah, he's hypnotized, all right. Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? <laughs> No. That's what they're saying on the street. No, my hey, Mr. Tanner. What's up? Uh, 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 <laughs> Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there. Somebody commented on the stream and said, Why is it hey. my drop shaking all around? This is so fake. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Oh. You know what's funny? I believe a lot of Holy smokes. What, what happened to him? Yeah. I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. What? Well, where does it go? I think so. That information is above my pay grade. Oh, Somebody comment. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't yeah, move a muscle, fly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Unless, of course, there's a cure. Yeah. Somebody said earlier that dro that Josh drops more more coin on the lottery than Michael J. Fox at a parking mirror. What are you waiting for? Go after Biff. Given the lack of four fight screams, it's probably safe to jump down the disciplinary bed after Biff. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. I'm almost. I'm Gosh, man. To this. Did I do something wrong? This Did I do something? Game. Well, no, I want to finish. I put a lot of work into I want to finish. I want to finish the chapter. What the fuck? Okay, well, I, 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 I want to finish the chapter. 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 Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really, I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch, and then I'm down here and you're yelling at me. They, they did fly? Uh, well, no, Ted, just grab something else. Fly. Strickland. Go, oh, hi, Martin. AIG? Oh, they really messed it up. Give me the tapes, Edna. Yeah, I mean, yeah, look at it. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Hey, hey. Stop. Hey. No. Stop. No. Stop. Oh, you no. know what happened? <laughs> hey, you know what happened to Josh? Oh, hold on, Josh, I have a joke. I have a joke. Hey, this is for the stream too. Josh, Josh, you should show you should show them your haircut. She gave you, they gave you the the skateboarder haircut because you look like Tony Pohawk. <laughs> It looks like Tony Fohawk. Oh, uh, mother, everybody says hi. Hello, everybody. Hey, what's this? You got a new karaoke machine? Yeah. Why are you buying karaoke machines? I should have known you'd be trouble someday. Your whole family's nothing but a bunch of hooligans and slackers. Look, candy. No? Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Uh. Tannen, focus! Uh. Hey, look over there! It's beer! Beer? What's going on? Biff, Howard, Tannen! Uh. Obey your programming! Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. Look at all these unhappy faces on your... I'm Biff! Snap out of it! Ah. 
Fuck, bitch! Step out of it! Edna, what are you doing? What I've always done. Keeping Hill Valley safe from hooligans like you and your father. Biff, it's your favorite show. Damn, what would really get Biff's attention down here? Oh dear, Mr. Wilson. You have been a naughty boy. Struggling. It's your favorite show. Damn. What would really get Biff's attention down here? Okay, Lizzie. You got your pressure wrist programming. Look! Candy! No? Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah! I think Martin will make a nice citizen plus candidate. Don't come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah! Yeah. Oh, that, that, that's what I... Okay. I just figured out what I had to do to fix this. Einstein? Uh, doggy? Where am I? Tannin, I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Which one? Is uh, what? Oh. I think, yeah. So That's much okay. vice and disorder. And to think Emmett actually wanted to shut down the X-11 initiative. Hey, it's Wild Gunman. Not a fan of video games, huh? Novelties? Biff, whoopee cushions. You never had much of a sense of humor. I should have known. Biff, aren't those your favorite cigars? Cubans? Huh, cigars, that's what that's what did it. Tannin, Cuban listen cigars. to me. Uh, babes. Uh, booze. Useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can... You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? I, mean, I, would, I would just try it. Where's the, where's the, where's the release date? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No. Edna! Doc? Emmett, what are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? 
all our struggles to cure society's illnesses just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well manicured again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It uh, makes yeah, rules and gave it the slightest of, of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But Go home and wait for me. Yes, uh... Fine. Doc. Ah! Father, what have I done? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This hill valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited and principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Yeah, uh, Everyone yeah, can be back life. the way they're supposed to be. Uh, yeah. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a bunch Doc, of you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. <laughs> Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Aini along? The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Yeah. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm not. Giving you an extra game. No, it, there's there's two in there. That one comes with Gears of War. And the two discs? Yeah. Well, you see, it tops Gears of War. Then okay, that's why I asked you if there was a, a case up there for I didn't it. know if there was. Uh, if it was all on one disc. Well, it looks like it's two separate discs. I wasn't sure myself. But... Oh, I'm gonna get some gear. Oh shit! You know well, I use the stickers? Awesome. Yeah. Add-on download from the Xbox Store. Was 
Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einie? McFly! Yeah. Hey, Biff. You okay? Cool. Yeah, I'm okay. Right, Better than I've been in a long time, you know? Okay. So you remember... That witch making me well, do stuff? Go and she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. Something near the right, Okay. You guys gonna be here tomorrow? Yeah. What time? Uh, I'm not sure. I got. Oh, I forgot to ask my mother about that. But yeah. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I, I hate. I hate to advocate this, but there's a box of rock and roll records behind the bar. Just try to use the one that wonders before. You go grab it for Jimmy or Jimmy. Down, Biff. I stay. All right. McFly. Oh crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music, you idiot. I hope I don't run out of rock. Is that supposed to scare me or something? Get him, Heine! Heine, sick him! Place your bets. What the? Place your bets. There we go. There we go. And once again, Let's get out of here, Cannon Ryan. is taken out. And I'm assuming that would end uh, this part, this chapter. Ah, sorry I took so long. Biff came off. around and jumped me. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Uh -oh, oh, Edna? It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Oh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Ah! To be continued. Okay, guys, we've hit the to be continued. We've hit the checkpoint. Here's uh, the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an uh, alternate here timeline. Here comes the, the next. And the, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. To be continued in double visions. Oh! Okay, guys, I had fun. I got to get home. I will see you guys later. Um, uh, or... Or Fupa Tour. Josh better pay me the money he owes me with the lottery win. Um, yeah, so I had fun. You had fun. Uh, it's a to be continued. So surprise, surprise. We're going to have to have a third part to this Back to the Future series. Because I don't know about you, but I want to find out what's going to happen here. This 
this uh, twist of events at the end there. We thought we were in the clear, and Edna came back. So, well, so yeah, it looks like it looks like we're gonna have to have a part three. I'm excited. Uh, get hype. Um, I'm still gonna do Red Dead. I'm not done with Red Dead. Don't think this means I'm done with Red Dead. I'm just I'm trying to complete complete all these games, or at least get uh, through a good portion of them. You know, this is my second playthrough through this one. I still have to do a second playthrough of uh, a Shaq Fu at some point. But anyway, um, I'm going to let the cr credits finish rolling. It looks like this is it for them. Uh, and yeah, Telltale Games presents Back to the Future. Or some of you guys said in the chat, Back to the Football. Okay, I'm assuming this automatically saves. So. So, yeah, I will see you guys later. I am out. Goodbye, everybody.